the first thing we need to do before we start our installation is to make sure that we have all the components that we need to complete the installation. We don't want to be in the middle of our installation and find out that we're missing a bolt or a nut. So the different components include the cooler, the fan, the back plate, the double-sided tape, the loading block, the thermal grease, four fan clips over here, four side caps, four bolts, four nuts. So those are the common components. If you're installing uh, over an AMD processor, this is the AMD clip. If you're installing on an Intel processor, this is the Intel clip. And the standoff. You're going to need the standoffs only for Intel processors. Since I'm going to be installing this over an AMD processor, I'm going to be using the AMD clips. To install it, I'm going to need to loosen the screws first. There's uh, two notches here. Make sure it goes under, uh, around the screws. And if you notice, there are two holes on both sides. Make sure it matches the two holes over here. Take note of the orientation of the clips. tighten it. Be very careful when you're handling the heat sink, the fins, because they're actually very fragile. Now I'm going to install the bolts to the back plate. Note the orientation of the back plate. I'm installing the loading block on the back plate. I'm 
I'm going to put the double-sided tape on the loading block. To install the bracket of the Zalman Optima, I have to uh, remove the uh, bracket on the existing motherboard. And in order to do that, I have to uh, remove the processor first. This is the stock heat sink and uh, fan. I'm going to install the uh, backplate assembly to the bottom of the motherboard after I have already removed the, uh, the stock backplate. Make sure the screws align into the holes. Next I'm going to uh, install the processor. Note the triangle on one corner of the uh, processor. It always goes to the uh, opposite end of where the, the lever is. And when you install it, it should simply simply drop in just like so you never force anything I'm going to apply the uh, thermal grease over the surface of the uh, processor this is the thermal grease that came with the uh, Zalman Optima
then uh, now I'm gonna need to uh, screw the uh, heat sink into the into the motherboard. I think it would be a good idea to uh, screw opposite ends first. And then uh, tighten it. Once all four screws are uh, attached. Doing my best to uh, make sure they're uh, evenly screwed at the, about the same depth. It's probably not necessary to be this careful, but it doesn't hurt. Now I'm tightening it all the way in. Now I'm going to install the fan since this is the back side of the motherboard and I have a uh, fan blowing this way. So I'm going to position the fan so it goes that way. This is the fan clip. So I'm very fortunate because I can actually install the fan. Uh, at a very low position to help uh, add airflow over the motherboard and there's enough clearance so it doesn't actually touch my uh, DRAM
And then uh, I'm just going to attach the fan, the CPU fan. You want to position the fan as low as possible so there's airflow just above the processor too. I now have the motherboard back inside the case so I'm going to be turning it on for the first time and uh, let's see what happens. It worked. <laughs> 